Thank you, thank you. It is great to be here tonight. It is great to be here tonight uh, because basically I'm married, I got the family, and I don't really get to do anything anymore with opinions or decisions or whatever. I mean, I have no time basically uh, with the wife and the kids, the job, the chores, the family, in-laws, one friend. It's, uh, <laughs> Uh, something's got to go, right? I mean, something's got to shit, man. I ain't got time to shit, man. I don't. <laughs> I, but basically, if my wife came up to me and admitted to having an affair, I'd be like, where'd you get the time to have an affair? I don't have time to have an affair. That, that's not a fair. You know? <laughs> and don't get me wrong. I mean, I love, I love family life. It's just very time-consuming. Uh, you know, I, I love my family. One because you gotta say that. Uh, 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 two, they're great, they are, right? Like, my daughter, she's a genius. She's, she's unbelievable, right? Uh, she, she's two and a half years old, she already knows her alphabet, right? Uh, word association, A is for apple, B is for blah, blah, blah. Uh, numbers, she can count to 50. I struggle with 50 sometimes. Uh, she knows her colors, she knows her shapes. Uh, just the other day, just the other day, uh, my friend was at the house. Her communication's unbelievable. She communicates like an adult, right? Just the other day, my friend was upstairs. We went downstairs. There she was watching television. I said, Joni, come over and say hello. She said, fuck off, Dad. I'm watching Dora. <laughs> In Spanish. In Spanish, guys, seriously. She's like a sponge. I was mopping the floor with her the other day and... Smart and hardworking. <laughs> but like I said, it, it, having a family, it's time consuming. It's complicated, right? Like, uh, my wife just had a baby. That's all right. It's not mine, but <laughs> thank you. <laughs> might want to wait a second. <laughs> you might ask how I know it's, it's not mine. Um, well, for one, it was the wrong color. No, no, not that there's a wrong color, guys. Seriously. Lighten up. I mean, don't think I'm a racist. Please, don't. That's not good. A wise comic once told me that you shouldn't make jokes about the three hours of comedy. You don't make jokes about race. You don't make jokes about rape. And you don't make jokes about arithmetic. It's not funny. But in my opinion, words are just words. Anybody else out there feel the same way? I mean, words are just words. It's the intention behind words that's the problem. You know, I think about the N-word, for example. Newfie. <laughs> yeah, I'm a Newfoundlander. I'm a proud Newfoundlander. I am. And I don't mind if you call me a Newfie. Go ahead, right? You can call me a Newfie. I'll know what you mean by how you say it. Right? It's the intention, not the word itself. I mean, personally, in a perfect world, my good friend and next-door neighbor, Jamal, Oh yeah, Jamal could come up to me willy-nilly and he could be like, Yo, Noof! I just raped that arithmetic exam. <laughs> and I could freely respond with, Damn, neighbor. <laughs> My kid looks just like you. <laughs> you <know? laughs> we could talk about stuff. Get it all out there. My boy's a big boy. He is. My little boy, yeah. He's so big, we're, we're already in the same size onesie. Yeah. Grew out of his extra saucer. Yeah. I mean, my, my, my baby boy's so big, he's definitely not mine. I know it for a fact, right? That's my set, guys. You guys are beautiful. Thank you very much.